Indie games have gained a ridiculous amount of prominence over the past couple of years, which is incredibly refreshing because the world of video gaming had about a decade of time where indie gaming barely even existed. That was really too bad, given the fact that the entire industry was built on genius nerds hanging out in their parents' garage writing DOS games and assembly in C. Yes indeed, that's how we were brought id Software, who of course made the Doom series. Even Bungie, the folks that went on to develop the Halo game, started out being ran out of the founder's parents' living room, where he was burning the discs himself. And plenty of other companies from that era got their start self-publishing and selling their content. But then, the industry got complicated. The days of self-publishing ended because of, you know, money, pretty much, and corporations ruled. The days of developing a successful game in your garage were gone. To make a game that would be played by actual people, you needed redonkulous amounts of cash for development and the technologies of the time, plus more cash for marketing. And that meant you'd need corporate backing. Period. But then, that brings us to the last couple years. YouTube, Steam, Twitter, Kickstarter, uh, like, you know, Steam, and mostly Steam. I mean, who are we kidding? But the world of indie gaming is more vibrant than it's ever been, and I seriously mean that. Ever. Super Meat Boy, Amnesia, Mark of the Ninja, Journey, Hotline Miami, Skullgirls, Cave Story, it didn't even need help from Steam. Spelunky, Bleed, Bastion, Limbo, The Binding of Isaac, Containment Breach, Minecraft? You heard of Minecraft? Launched like 17 YouTube careers? Don't sue me, Toby, please. Terraria? So yeah, my point here is that indie gaming is totally frickin' back. It's not just back, it's literally its own genre now. And there are a couple projects that I'm really looking forward to. And so I want to show you guys. This is a relatively new project that hasn't picked up much steam on YouTube, but it's already hit its goal of raising $30,000 on Kickstarter, which is good news because it looks frickin' sweet. This game is gonna be all about community and customization. It's an online multiplayer adventure game that promises to have elements of platforming and RPGs. You can work with stackable upgrades, draw your own items, weapons, and armor, and if you don't want to draw them, you can use models that have been made by other players, and thank God, because I suck at drawing! And this is just a tiny part of the engine. There's not a whole lot of info available in this game yet, so it really makes more sense for you to watch their Kickstarter trailer than for me to just recite it word for word while showing basically the same footage. But one thing's for sure, the animation and 2D graphics look smooth and awesome, and if the trailer's music is any indication, I think the soundtrack is going to be amazing. Going on quests against huge monsters with a couple of my friends online sounds like it's going to be well worth checking out. And Alpha is supposed to be released in the summer. Well, if you're anything like me, and I hope to God for your sake that you're not, you appreciate a good old-school RPG. This project is drawing influence from those action RPGs of the 90s, like Secret of Mana. That right there is music to my ears. So far, the developers have talked a lot about gathering loot and building levels. So one thing I'm really kind of concerned about is that the game will feature a nice, simple, but compelling storyline and won't just be running around completing quests, but only time will tell. But in any case, so far the gameplay looks beautifully simple and fun. This one is also going to focus a lot on co-op gameplay, supporting up to four players. Did I mention that some of my early memories as a kid were spent playing Secret of Mana with two of my friends? No? Well, they were. So, there you go. I'm actually pretty old. You just need to throw me in a home, right now. Just. Sign those papers, frickin' put me in a home. Nobody's even gonna frickin' miss me. Right in a home.
OMG. If you don't know about this one, well, I, I guess now you will. But uh, yeah, this is seriously the granddaddy of indie games. Uh, Dr. M64 has been working on this project since like 2007, and he's still working on it, knowing that he'll never be able to make any money on it whatsoever. I mean, it was a total labor of love from the very beginning. It's a remake of Metroid 2 Return of Samus, using graphics from Zero Mission and Super Metroid, plus custom-drawn sprites. The soundtrack has been rearranged by Dr. M64, and it's basically just frickin' sweet. Like the graphics, the engine is a mix between Zero Mission and Super Metroid. I finally got to play the demo, which covers about the first hour of the game, just pretty recently, and I gotta say, it's seriously super fun, it's beautiful, and it feels just like you're playing an authentic Metroid game. And check out that background! Holy God! And funny enough, even though that game is closest to being done and has the most stuff out about it, that really about sums it up. I just can't wait for these independent game releases. So which ones are you looking forward to?